so they've seen like a lot about me and then we had to go through my apps and uh like they were like have you heard of this okay keep it okay delete it and like and we got to webkins and they didn't say anything about it and just moved on and i'm like i've been exposed but also maybe they just had taste you know um anyways the point of this conversation was uh
woman is starts like cursing at her and she's like fuck you like get out of here and like it's just so embarrassing like oh and then there's like other things that happen that like i don't know i can't even remember fully but like it just wasn't great um but i will be keeping it because it was my grandma's and like even though like she might not have even liked it either like i just, and it's not like a family heirloom but i will still be keeping it i don't know that's all i can say the next book i completely like i feel like this was like a lifetime ago and i feel like i've already talked about this but i have it and it is practical men practical magic by alice hoffman i gave it like three stars and um i had been told previously uh from ultramarine asmr hi uh she commented on like a whole video that i had with it saying that she did not like this book at all and then i read the reviews and a lot of people were like the movie is so much better this is like the one instance where it is Elizabeth Wurzel. And this was like 
coming right off the heels of In March I Read You Are a Badass, which is like also like a self-help type of book. Hated it so much. Um, uh, this, like in terms of self-help books, like I said in that last video that I, that when it comes to Wurzel finds many biblical counterparts to the men and women 
and there's a lot of talk about like was this necessary to even like include like that we have to see it happening and like no I don't think it was and could I do without it in my life yeah but I feel like what it's hard to say what he was going for because I don't know this dude you know personally but like I feel like that was the point is that like it's supposed to be hard to the shitty man. 
men theme, the, um, like, not believing women, and there's, like, dog stuff and tropes like that, and, like, in my best friend's exorcism, something happens with the dog that's fucking terrible, but then in the end, it gets brought up again, and it made me really emotional, um, the way it was brought up, like, without spoiling anything, like, something happens to the dog.
love for stranger things is here and if you want to discuss in the comments please feel free um 